Uh, this is the actual home of the Curtis family, who were funeral directors for well over 50 years in Abilene, Texas. Uh, this was uh, the family home. Uh, also, not only was the family home, but also utilized, a portion of it was utilized when they first went in funeral business, uh, and especially the room that we're sitting in, it was used to uh, lay a deceased in rest for the family. Um, it was always kept closed off, and no one could come in here. None of the family, other than they would come clean, stuff like that. But uh, it was used for that. And then 1953, 50, by 53, that was an actual funeral home that was renovated and built that they could uh, utilize that as their location. <clears throat> the father, uh, Sam Curtis Sr., uh, had this home built, and I learned it was first a one-story home, and I guess with his family and with the thinking of the future, he wanted uh, additional space so he'd have enough room uh, to hold grandchildren and other family members. So later years, he had the top of the home placed, and uh, it served as a home for him and his wife, and then later years, uh, as the children grew, and then the sister, one of their, his, their sister, or the only daughter, uh, she came and lived here until she passed away. The home, um, I guess, went into some sort of an estate or something, or was set in vacant uh, with uh, no one actually occupying it. And it sat here a few years, and during that time, as it was sitting in this area, the crime had escalated also. And during that time of escalation, we chose to put together a nonprofit, which was called ICANN, it's just Citizens Abilene North, to address the crime that was in the neighborhood. This street had become overrun with drugs, activities, uh, prostitution, burglaries, and the home was beginning to deteriorate, and we felt that it was getting ready to be vandalized. So we made, uh, made an offer with uh, the owners, uh, as well as the, um, I think there was some back taxes on it, to see if we could acquire the property. And it was acquired and um, paid off the debts and was released from some of the back taxes. And discussion began to take place as I was uh, chairman of our nonprofit, what could be positive in the neighborhood. And I made a suggestion to the board, <clears throat> why not put the black history of Abilene here? This home is part of the history uh, very, very well built and was very manicured and I thought it would be ideal and it also gave the space that was needed to in-house the history that we were beginning to acquire. There was a group prior to actually before I began to gather and also uh, travel with uh, the history. A portion of it was kept at the Butler home and that was the home of the first black doctor in Abilene, Texas. Uh, we had that, we had acquired that property, our nonprofit had acquired that property, and that was space to keep the, uh, some of the history in it. Uh, that was another group that had worked uh, through the years that would do black history, and they would store it in uh, storage, and then at the Year, each year of Black History Month, it would be pulled out and they used G.B. Daniels. At one point when the, where the school administration is now, that was a, uh, another type business in that, so they would use a section of that building down on Pine and would display. But it was always, at the end, would have to box it up, take it, put it up. Same as here, uh, we would have to box it up, transport it, and uh, 
bring it out again next year. So this sort of gives us more of a permanent site. Uh, and it has become a, uh, a prominent place and a central focus point on the black history of Abilene, Texas. I mean, we have closets now with boxes of uh, pictures, archives, and other things that are, we have no space to even uh, put them. So we're just finding little sections now. And this uh, last few months, we've been pulling pictures down <clears throat> not to get rid of them, but to sort of change the displays up a little bit, to add a little bit more in and trying to create some space to go into various rooms that will be a part of that history.